Hey guys, Matt Cichlid Dojo back with another update. Um, as mentioned in the uh, last live video, uh, I was going to do a pond update for this week. So uh, here it is. Um, we'll get right in. I, I have three different ponds in the backyard, uh, one 300 gallon and two 100 gallons. And uh, first, this is the uh, one of the 100 gallons that I have uh, a batch of Geophagus Brasiliensis fry. Um, they're doing really good in here. Um, they've been in here for, let's say, about a month and a half, month and a half plus. Um, you know, this is one of the species that I was experimenting with outdoors uh, over the winter, and uh, I wanted to make sure I put some fry in there during uh, a little bit warmer temps just to get them a little head start and uh, I definitely plan on having these guys uh, in there year round um, and see how they do see what the growth rate is um, I'm almost obviously not feeding them uh, very frequently um, my water changes on the ponds are uh, a little bit uh, less actually a lot less than um, my tanks in the garage and my fish room um, you know I'm only doing maybe once a month uh, on the 300 gallon uh, basically once every two months um, and uh, and so I'm only really feeding these fry uh, maybe twice a week um, maybe on a Wednesday and a, a Saturday kind of deal um, and uh, they're doing really good not really seen any uh, dead ones on the bottom um, growth rate uh, appears to be doing okay um, especially considering they don't get fed a month that much but um uh, next uh, this is the other 100 gallon pond that I have um, as if you've followed the channel you've seen previous videos on the um, gymno geophagus uh, these are the El Norte um, I got a group of these from a buddy um, last year and uh, you know I initially started with these guys uh, inside my fish room I had them in a 40 gallon breeder tank um, on some sand uh, I plan to you know show them off pretty nicely however they're extremely skittish uh, inside and then uh, in addition uh, it's it's one of those species from uh, Uruguay I believe uh, where uh, it does get fluctuate as far as temperatures, it gets cooler. And so I have heard that uh, in order to maintain this, this species uh, health, uh, you want to have them uh, in, in you know, different, different temps, uh, have cool down periods. And so uh, I got them out in the pond outside uh, while the water temps, I think we're still in the 50s. Um, as I mentioned, inside my fish room, uh, the lowest I can get uh, a tank without heaters is like 73 degrees so uh, I wanted to make sure I get them out there for that cool down period and uh, you know see how they do you know with the with the sunlight they also um, you know they, they they look a little bit more colorful and uh, I think they're doing great um, I obviously pull them out in here because I was for one tearing down the whole pond and cleaning it up um, a lot of algae build up and I like to get rid of as much as possible it tends to spike the pH above 10 and uh, even though some of my past cichlids like the Texas cichlids and uh, could handle it I'm not sure how these guys are going to do so I make sure I do a good cleaning and I want to evaluate the fish make sure they're not you know having any issues uh, sick or, or whatever so you know uh, looking at them this way in the specimen container uh, you know in this case looks like they're doing really good um, and then uh, the last pond, the big pond, uh, I have a 300 gallon. This is the experimental um, Brasiliensis uh, from uh, Uruguay, the red variant, Laguna de Mole. And uh, in the very beginning, when I got my group uh, of fry, uh, the first pairing uh, occurred with this male, and you'll see the female here in a second. Um, and uh, they started thrashing the rest of the fish. And uh, I wanted to, you know, get them out in the pond anyway. So I thought it was a good, good time to get this male and female outdoors and let the rest of the group, as, as you've seen, probably seen many updates on the other group. And I have a really nice male I, I like a lot in that group. 
um, give them the opportunity to do the group thing and they've done really well, much better when uh, this pair wasn't in the tank with them. And so uh, again, I'm, you know, this 300 gallon gets a lot of algae, uh, green water and whatnot sometimes. And so I wanted to do a good cleaning and also check out the, the growth rate and uh, make sure these guys are looking healthy. Um, I, you know, I don't feed these guys very often. I kind of the same two, twice a week regimen. And it doesn't seem to have stunted their growth at all. Um, they do get a 300 gallon, uh, but they're, they're not eating maybe one tenth of the amount that my indoor group is, uh, is getting fed. So, uh, and, and they're right on par, similar size. So I thought that was really interesting uh, that, you know, the feeding in this case is really not stunning their growth whatsoever. Um, now they do have a much bigger space to swim around in, so that may come into play. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, just a little pond update. I like to check them all out and see how they're doing. And it looks like uh, they're doing well right now. So anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, bye.